speed in the lane, still getting it. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Mercer here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to create some pretty nasty text, and we're going to be doing this with mostly Photoshop. I'm going to show you some of the basics in Cinema 4D. So let's go ahead and open Cinema 4D. And once you're in Cinema 4D, go ahead and open your Lightroom. And let me open that real quick. So... Basically what we're going to be doing is going to MoGraph and select MoText and go to Align and Middle and make the depth about 80. I'm going to type Mercer. And the font I'm going to be using is Earth. So There's that and... Let's go ahead and open, increase the depth to about 120, that looks good. You go to caps and cap, fill it cap, cap, fill it cap. Make them both about one, that's what I like to do. And once you have your text set up, you can go ahead and rotate it however you want. And I'm just going to rotate it. I'm actually going to leave it how it was. So once you've done that, go ahead and add a material to it. it and materials don't really matter in my opinion, so just add any material you have because I add my color in Photoshop so I just use a basic gray material and that's what I do for Cinema 40 so go to your render settings and go to output make the width 1920 and height 1080 go to save make sure you have alpha channel checked and QuickTime PNG and save it as whatever you want I'm gonna save it as tutorial and you're going to want ambient inclusion and global illumination on and to add those go to effect and just select them so that's all we're going to be doing in Cinema 4D I'm trying to get through it pretty fast and get to Photoshop so I'm going to go ahead and render that text out and I'll be back when it's done alright guys so my text has finished rendering you can go ahead and X that out and now we're going to look at the text real quick and we find it open oh my god okay I'm gonna go ahead and open Photoshop while that loads guess nothing wants to open there we go so as you can see there's our text it has some nice shadows and that's what ambient occlusion does so there's our text and we're gonna go ahead and go into Photoshop so once you're in Photoshop you can go and create a new document for this tutorial, I'm going to be using 1280 by 720 and you guys can of course do this on backgrounds and all that stuff, so I'm just going to create my new document. And we're going to import the text by just dragging it and going into Photoshop and yeah. This is our text and drag it over here into your new document and make it a bit smaller. So that's a good size. And I'm going to make the background a darker gray. There's that. And now what we're going to do is add our color. I guess I'll use blue. So go ahead and pick your blue. And use uh, that kind of blue. And make it an overlay. And now what we're going to do is go to gradient. And make this an overlay also. And put it to 81. Uh, now we're going to go into drop shadow and increase the spread to about 12 and size to about 27. And that's all we're going to be doing for the layer effects. Now we're going to grab some textures. You guys can use any textures you have. I'm just going to be using some basic grungy materials. So go ahead and drag your material over onto your new document and to put the material on the text we're going to right click the, te the material and create a clipping mask and I'm going to make this smaller so it fits over the text and select that so you're going to make the blending mode soft light and now you have that texture over it 
I'm gonna grab another material. And if your texture isn't long enough to fit the text, go ahead and select that. Grab an eraser. I'm gonna move that for a second. And just kinda go over it so it has a smooth edge and right click and duplicate layer. And then edit and flip horizontal. And then just adjust it to where it blends nicely. So like right there it looks about good. Then select both of them by hitting shift and merge layers. So now what we're going to do is right click and create a clipping mask again. And now it blends nicely all across the text. So make that soft light also. And that's basically your text. So if you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And please like and comment on the video. So peace out guys.